Hey guys, welcome to Vet Candy. Hi, this is Dr. Carrie Hemmelgar, and today we're going to talk about infectious diseases in dogs. Here are the top five mistakes you can't afford to make in veterinary surgery and how to avoid them. Canine mast cell tumors are the most common cutaneous tumor in dogs, and they represent about 21% of all cutaneous tumors in dogs. They vary in their appearance such that they can go from benign to malignant and that's what creates the most difficulty in treating these tumors in that they can look like virtually anything. Hi, my name is Alyssa Mages and welcome to the surgical prep course for the OR and for the patients. Hi, I'm Melissa Evans. I'm a licensed veterinary technician and a veterinary technician specialist in emergency and critical care. And here are three tips for showing pet owners how to deal with their pet's ears. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Vet Candy Life. Today we are talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is mindfulness. Are you excited? I am very excited. Yay! Yes, yes, yes. So, the way we do it is Create a packs or create the pouches. They're all both double draped or double pouched and they're placed in the autoclave. Now, any sharp object should be protected. I'm Dr. Philippa Pavia, board certified veterinary surgeon. And today we'll be talking about wound care and healing. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Vet Candy Rounds with the Hollies. My name is Dr. Quincy Holly. And I'm Dr. Sierra Holly. Is Lyme disease underreported? Well, the CDC thinks so. Two recent papers from Hungarian researchers highlight the underrated relevance of pet dog biobanking in molecular research and introduce their initiative to make pioneering steps in this field. To stay up to date with everything VetMed, check us out at MyVetCandy.